Things are looking good. I've been away for three days because I knew the rain was coming. Um, about 250 millimeters has fallen this weekend. And you can see there's a bit of flooding has been going around. And you can hear the rivers, like all the waterfalls. They're very noisy right now. Um, but nothing major has happened. I mean, the trenches work great. All the water could go away. Uh, Johannes kept an eye on things and he also re had recommended to put some plastic on the trenches so it wouldn't sag too much. But nothing like that happened, all was good. Warmed up too, it's nice now, like last week it was so cold and I was just tired of the rain so it's nice that it warmed up and uh, things are drying out. Got something new, an espresso maker. This is the nine barista, and the nine stands for the amount of pressure it's able to build up to make real espresso. So you put the water on the bottom here, then it goes through some sort of ingenious coil system to create this pressure. Then there's an upside down porta filter, which is the coffee, and then the espresso 
comes out on the top uh, and you put it on the stove Pretty good. a quick explanation of all the materials that are going into the trench. Um, first layer is polystyrene, that is a insulation material and it prevents condensation on the inside of the wall when you heat the cabin and keeps it kind of warm to a degree. 
then a waterproof layer which is a durable plastic um, prevents water from going into the walls then a dimple sheet which protects the waterproof barrier because rocks are going against it sharp rocks and gravel so that's that this is the French drain so it's basically a pipe with little holes in there so this is on the bottom of the trench and when the water comes down it trickles into the pipe and then it flows through the pipe around the cabin uh, to the valley and you might think because there's holes in the pipe does the water not come out again but water tends to choose the way of the least resistance so once it's going into the pipe usually from the bottom up it will flow down because it's sloping down the pipe then there's this filter like a durable filter material which goes around the pipe and that prevents sand and soil from going into slipping into the little holes and clogging up the pipe the water can go through but sand and soil can't
here. Yeah, you can come inside.
Now for the enjoy the sunset, the, the warm temperature, <laughs> a fresh so white wine. Same. Um, yeah, I guess we're gonna have to stand here to <laughs> keep ourselves dry. What up, Pedito? What up, Pedito? Yeah, water's been coming down quite badly this night. I recorded about 95 millimeters, which should be from 12 a.m., which is, I find it kind of hard to believe, because that's a lot of water. Um, so, I mean, but it, you, you've seen the pond, which is now already a pond. Uh, the, the amount of water coming down, the, where I dug the hole for the septic system is full of water now. French drain works, it's dripping quite well, so, and it's dry on this side, so it looks like it's working. It's a little bit wet down the trench here, and I think because this trench is leaking in, it's still open. So, um, I'm glad I'm building in this French drain here as well. And, uh, yeah, I think some water's coming down from the doorway, but that will eventually be sealed off the window there. It's a little damp here and that is because the roof is still open there, the edge of the roof of the dock shed. Just right there that needs to be uh, fixed as well so eventually it will all work out but the amount of water we're dealing with this month is just it's over 500 millimeter this month which is pretty much uh, a record. Quite a bit of flooding going on there. Never seen that, you know, you see new things, those white patches, new rivers.
David, yeah. could you help a hand? Could you go down there and uh, put pressure on the pipe towards this? I I'm trying to put, connect this one, but it's giving way. So if you can block it. Yeah, I think it's okay. You know, okay. This is where the sewage and the water connection of both cabins will join. So once I'm ready to work on that cabin, just have to dig a trench and then I can connect the sewers to here. It's a nice smell. Nice smell. Nice smell, yes. Flowers. on the parmesan.
Another week has passed. I think we had all types of weather this week. Today is a beautiful day and everything is drying up. I had to uh, bring the digger away because uh, it was rented out to someone else. I'll probably get it again in a few weeks when um, all the plumbing is going to be finished. I'm working on various things now. So inside is the last plumbing. I'm doing the gutters. They're going underground as well. So the water can drain into one pit or pond, I think, eventually. So the, the, the drain that's now in the ground and the gutters are all coming at one point where I can collect rainwater. And the um, trench is still open for the septic system, so when that is all installed, I think that's arriving next week. Hey there, the chickens. Hey guys! They're feeling more comfortable right now. They go all over the place. I usually let them out around 2 or 3 and then they're outside for 4 or 5 hours until 8. And then they go inside when it gets dark. No eggs yet, but um, they're, uh, they're pets, they're fun to hang around with. So next week, septic system, if it arrives, then I can finish all the plumbing outside. Then probably the week after I can rent the digger again to close everything up and make everything looking nice. Seed some grass perhaps, so uh, yeah, it's a muddy mess now. So. It would be nice to have some grass again, and then I can continue inside. What do you think, guys? A lot of worms, huh? 